Hello, what is going on YouTube? My name is Bradley, and this is a full tour of Gus the Bus. Gus the Bus is a 1992 E350. It was an old church bus. I bought it from a church. And there's nothing much going on outside. I wanted to keep it low-key for some stealth camping, you know, but let's go inside. So at first we got the cockpit. Nothing too fancy going on up here. I kept it about the same. Besides, Lucky the Cat, he brings prosperity to the confines. This cool cup holder that I found on Amazon. Let's take you on back. You might be wondering, why is it so orange? I like orange. Oh, leave me alone. I spray painted all the walls orange. But pretty much everything in here was built from scratch. Minus this wardrobe here. Got that at a thrift shop for 20 bucks. The main reason I got it was because it has this cool table. But I actually don't ever use it because I have way more than enough countertop space. Had to make some customizations right here to make it fit in here nicely. But it's mainly going to be used for shoes and clothes, mostly. And I got this gate latch. So it doesn't open while I'm driving. Next I got these curtains to block off the, dri the driving area for some more privacy. And these can be moved to anywhere in the bus. If I want to have like a smaller area up here, I can move them up that way. And this flooring is just some vinyl flooring that comes in a big roll. Looks really good, I think. Okay, moving on. This is my desk area slash eating area. This is where I partake in my ultra serious business meetings. Alright, moving on. I got three drawers here. Top drawer, silverware, knives and stuff like that. Second drawer, pots, pans, plates, cups, stuff like that. Third drawer is a mess, but it's my utility drawer, propane, tools, first aid kits, stuff like that. And then we got over here, my fridge area. The bus is not completely done yet. Like, I'm going to get that stuff covered up. And over here on my desk area, we get all these 2 by 4s covered up. But anyway, my fridge area. Yes, my fridge area. This is my fridge. It's a pretty small fridge, but it does the job. And it stays, keeps stuff cold, so that's all I care about. Okay, moving on to the other side of the bus. I got these doors. These doors that do not open from the inside, which is lame. I really wish they did, but the plan is to get two big mirrors to cover these windows because... We really don't need these windows. This area can also be used as a nice little cooking area on a nice hot day. Just cook some food with the sun on my back, you know what I'm saying? Also, this is my backer gun. He makes an appearance in pretty much every video. Then we got this plant. I love this plant. I need to get more plants because it really makes it feel feel more homey, you know what I'm saying? And we got this shelf here for spices and stuff like that. I built this. I built everything in this bus, but I really like this shelf. And then we got the sink. Just a little, a little pump action sink. And how that works is... has water from this six gallon tank. It pumps water up to there. And then how it drains is it comes down here, right out the bus, just right to the ground. I don't know if that's legal, but I mean, it's just sink water. I mean, we don't pee in it or nothing, so I'm sure it's fine. And then over here, we got another cabinet. I just built these cabinet doors in my last video. 
if you guys want to go check that out. I really like them. They turned out pretty freaking cool. But under here, we keep the stove, buddy heater, and it's going to be a lot of other things when we start living in here. Let's do the couch first. This is my couch, and it also turns into a bed. I'll show you how. Bam. It's a bed. I wanted to have at least another bed in here for if we have some friends staying the night or something like that. I think it turned out really good. Ah. Uh. Uh. And then how the backrest is able to move. It's just on these hinges here. And then I got a rear heater right here. That thing heats the bus up like no other, but the engine has to be running for it to work. But I love that heater. Makes it too hot in here. Curtain situation. I have this shower rod. And it's on these ring hooks. And it's just magnetized up there. Super sturdy. Curtains, and they just slide over like this. And bam. But I hate them. <laughs> They're not even finished yet. I had, the back's not even covered up. But yeah, I don't like them. So I'm going to do something else. I'm going to get, I'm going to build some. Oh, and see, that's one of the reasons why I don't like them. Too many moving parts. Come on, baby. Build some single ones to go on each window. And then it's going to magnetize in here and it'll be more, it'll be more insulated as well. Because this bus is not very well insulated as it is right now. Okay, moving on to the loft bed. I wanted to have the bed up in the air higher because warm air rises. And when I'm winter camping and it's really cold, the warm air rises and it's like 10 degrees hotter up here than it is down here. So I always stay super warm at night. And I also wanted to put the couch underneath it because I don't think I've seen anybody ever do that before. And I think it looks pretty cool. I mean, the only downside to putting the couch under here is there's not a lot of headroom. But I mean, if I'm leaning back, chilling like this, it's perfect. But I mean, if you're if you're taller than four, I mean, if you're taller than five foot nine. You're probably not going to be able to be very comfortable under here, but good thing I'm five foot nine, so it's it works out perfectly. The bed is supported is it's got four posts, obviously, and then it got these steel beams going across, so it's plenty supported underneath. I used to have wood. I just put these up last video. I used to have wood, and they started sagging, and I was always worried that I'd fall down in the middle of the night. But I got steel, a lot more supported now. This is how I get up into my bed every night. Just step right on the counter. Ah, it's super comfy up here. I love sleeping up here. It's the best part. There's not a lot of headroom, but there's plenty. I've never hit my head. Also, it's a full-size bed. So there's plenty of room for two people up here. For the mattress, it's a five inch thick memory foam mattress. Super plushy, super comfy. Got the emergency exit. We always use the emergency exit. We always hang out up on the roof on nice sunny days. So this thing's really nice. Oh, it's raining. Gotta do this quick. There you go. And then how I keep powered is my EcoFlow solar generator. So this thing is a it's a EcoFlow 
EcoFlow Delta 2, I believe. And this thing's a beast. It has plenty of power. Way more than I would need. So that was the tour of Gus the Bus. So on this channel, I go on camping adventures and road trips. So if you like that kind of stuff, you could probably think about it, like, uh, I don't know, like subscribing or something. I don't know. I'll see you guys Thursday. I got a camping video ready to go up. It's a fun one. Until then, please take care of yourselves. Thank you. Bye-bye.